Three weeks ago I started this uh, process of taking about 200 cuttings from existing apple trees not far from our ranch and going through the process of trying to uh, get them started hoping that they would take uh, potentially leading to a whole bunch of free or, or very very inexpensive apple and peach trees and the results so far I'm super happy with. Now uh, based on what I read and uh, the information that I gathered um, we're, we're definitely not, not out of the woods yet but if you didn't see our first video I'll put the uh, video at the end of this video and, um, and kind of show the process of, of getting them started but uh, the obvious process started with the, uh, the root hormone I think that's the biggest factor and also taking the right cuttings um, uh, from this last year's growth to, to, to hopefully give it the best chance to get started. Um, I would water the uh, apple and peach trees every, about every other afternoon. In the beginning I kept them pretty moist. Um, they're kept here in the garage. They're not getting direct sunlight. Um, that based, again, on, on everything I read, they weren't ready for direct sunlight and we've still had some, some cold temperatures. We even had snow this week and so um, we're getting real close to moving them uh, outside. I think they're about ready for direct sunlight. They're also just about ready to get transplanted into a bigger, uh, bigger containers. But so far, almost all of them look like they're, they're taking. So I, I marked every one of the cups with basically, whether it was a peach, whether it was an apple, even from the tree that I got it from, whether it was a red apple, red apple or a yellow apple, whether it was a late or early uh, uh, producing tree, um, trying to identify where they came from. So again, if this did work, I can go back and get more cuttings next year. Um, the peach trees, I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but as you can see, we got buds all over the place. But that doesn't mean anything. I, I saw a lot of people online that got to this point and still ended up with most of them uh, uh, dying. So, uh, but, but again, I'm optimistic. Uh, I'm, I'm, I didn't think we would even get to this point. Matter of fact, one of the trees that I thought was dead, I pulled out of the uh, soil last night, and let me show you what I found. Okay, so, so this is a peach tree that I was pretty sure was dead. Uh, it just doesn't look like it's changed a whole lot, and this one's going to be our, our sacrificial lamb here. Uh, at least that's what I decided last night. When I pulled this out, it has roots on it. Um, and so I still don't think it's going to make it. It doesn't look very good, but I pushed it back in and I left it. Now again, this is a peach tree. Um, I did have other uh, peach trees that just did nothing. And as you can see, there's no roots on this one. So for some reason, and this may not have been the right cutting. I can, I'm looking at it now, I can see it probably wasn't the best one to go with. But I cut everything I could off that uh, peach tree without uh, hurting it. So we even have some trees that are doing this right here where you can see it's trying to uh, push a leaf out and so my hope is that that one's going to make it. And this is a, a red apple. This actually, based on the FLR, that means front left red. Um, that's the tree that I got it from and if I remember correctly, this is an early producer. No, no, I take it back. This is a late producer. And so I'm optimistic that this is going to turn into something. So um, lots of the apple trees are doing really well. I don't want to I guess I'm so attached to the idea of having these apple trees that I don't want to pull one out and, uh, and, and expose the roots, uh, but I probably should find one just to see. So you can see lots of these apple trees have this gray fuzz type stuff and the buds are coming up all around it. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm pretty optimistic that we're going to get something. But even still, the downside is I don't know for sure which ones of these are going to be uh, production trees or or dormant frankly and in some cases it may take years as long as 10 years to figure that out but I have enough room on my property I'm willing to take this gamble um, we did also find a local nursery about uh, 10 miles from here uh, that was very familiar with our property up there or at least the location and they have established trees that they almost guarantee will produce next year. Um, somebody online uh, made that comment, uh, told me that, that they'd had a, a tremendous amount of success with these, uh, with this nursery. And so I'm still probably going to go down there and buy uh, six or eight apple trees uh, and maybe, maybe put these somewhere else on the property. But I'm optimistic. So the next process is going to be transplanting these into something a little bit more established, a, a little bit bigger, uh, so we don't end up getting a root. Uh, the root entangled um, and then it's it's they're gonna stay that way for quite some time we'll keep watering them 
I don't know if they're going to get in the ground this year. It's probably better that I don't put them in the ground this year uh, with all the work that we're going to be doing around there, maybe spring of next year. They'll be big enough and established well enough where we can get them in the ground. There are a couple like this that to me look like they're not doing a whole lot. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. See, I still don't have the heart to pull this out and see if the roots are, are dead. Um, I guess this one's going to have to be... See, it's got a, a couple roots on it. So I'm going to hope that that takes. But this one doesn't look like it's doing very well. Um, I've tried to, uh, again, keep them moist, in some cases pretty wet for this, the first few days. That seemed to be the general consensus online. Um, and then after about the first two weeks, I would go a few days within, uh, between waterings. So we'll see what happens, but I'm optimistic. Lots and lots and lots of them are pushing out new buds. Almost all of them are. I would bet out of the 200 trees that we have, probably less than 10% seem to be dead or dormant. So right now they are in a kind of a sandy, um, very little compost, mostly sand uh, bed. And I want to get them into a, a good healthy compost. I'm going to use some of my topsoil that I have up there and maybe mix some, uh, some, some good compost in with it. Um, because there's just not a whole lot of nutrition in this uh, sand right now. So that's probably the next step is getting them transplanted into something that's going to give them a little bit more to work with. We'll continue to do updates on this uh, as we start to see more and more uh, progress with the uh, trees. Um, I think this is something that, that a lot of us are interested in and uh, I hope to show a lot of really positive results. So we'll see where this goes.